Hello, I'm Simi Das for Inside Scoop. With me is Seth Rosenblatt, Senior Editor for CNET. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me on. Seth has been blogging about the DNS changer virus. Mm -hmm. And was it a lot of hype? Because 1201 has come and gone. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard much about people who are having problems, but as you say, it's a catch-22. Exactly. Uh, it's one of those things where if you're infected, you're now not on the Internet, and so we're not going to know about you. There are phones. People might call somebody. <laughs> we, we, please, by all means, do not call me. <laughs> um, it, 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 it's a serious issue, of course, but I think uh, at this point the larger story is, you know, uh, people making sure that they have uh, antivirus protection on both Windows and Mac uh, and Android and iOS and, uh, you know, s uh, staying safe on the Internet. So there were not that many computers, though, that were even going to be possibly affected, right? I mean, the percentage of all computer users was relatively small. Absolutely. Um, the original number when the FBI took down the, the bad guys in November 2011 was around 550,000 uh, global infections. Mm -hmm. And we think the last number I heard was around 330,000 in infections. Um, it's hard to, to, to tell at this point, of course, because the network that was keeping those people connected to the Internet is now down. Even if you weren't affected by DNS changer, the fact that similar malware could just shut down your access to the Internet, of course, is rather troubling. Right. So, so, you know, is this a lesson? Is there a lesson to be learned here? I mean, could this happen in the future to um, and cause greater damage? Possibly. A absolutely. Um, I think that this is one of those situations where the, the, the bad guys never want to disconnect you from the internet. That, that kind of, of uh, uh, messing with people doesn't really happen that much anymore. What they really want from you is your money. And so what this virus would do is it would redirect you to, pa to pages that would serve ads or pages um, that would try to get you to submit your personal information. Um, they want your cash. They don't want to disconnect you. Okay. And you say that the best protection is to just make sure you're running antivirus software? Absolutely. Is it that simple, though? It's you don't have to do anything beyond that? No. I mean, you do have to be careful about what sites you go to because uh, while uh, uh, security software will protect you, um, a lot of the, the, these attacks these days are uh, phishing attacks. So they're trying to get you to submit your information because, as I said, they want your money. They're not interested in, in uh, you know, commandeering your computer for nefarious u uses. They just want you to give them cash. So obviously that's going to send up some red flags for people and hopefully Absolutely. they're not going to submit anything. Absolutely. And it, they're, they're actually very clever. A lot of them uh, now use these, these uh, sites where it looks like you're submitting your information for, say, a contest or something. And so you put in your email address and you put in your phone number and, you know, maybe even your home address. And before you know it, you're getting charged premium SMS spam or all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, so the stuff looks legitimate and it's in fact not legitimate at all. Okay. So uh, any other telltale signs though? Well, one very good trick is to look at your URL bar on the website that you're visiting and make sure that it is the URL that it should be. If it, if it doesn't say Facebook.com or if it doesn't have your bank's proper uh, spelling for its name, don't, you know, don't do anything. Close the window. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. I have to say, though, this reminded me a little bit of the hype leading up to Y2K. Not as much, but... Uh, no, I, I, I agree. You know, but, but it's one of those things where uh, fixing your computer from DNS changer after they've shut down the network is much, much more difficult than it is when it is connected. So there, there was a deadline, and I think it was important that everybody go to the website, uh, the government website that would check your computer. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a lot of people did that because everyone's been commenting on, on stories that we've published that they're not infected. So. Okay. Well, that so far is good news then. Absolutely. Seth, thanks so much. Thank you. For Inside Scoop, I'm Simi Das. Thanks for watching.